Hello, I'm Chris. This is Growth Models again. Um, my good friend Paul decided it was nice to send me a little gift, so he sent me another one of these uh, Zvezda uh, Art of Tactic planes uh, and a biplane at that. So, uh, right, this hopefully is going to be quite a quick, short build. Let's get some more light on the subject. Uh, inside the box, we have Going back to my roots, my first video on YouTube was one of these kits. Not the same, the uh, Hawker Hurricane, which was quite good fun, but uh, yeah, a bit basic, but shall we say. Uh, right, this is the Night Bomber Reconnaissance Plane U2, PO2, I don't know if that's all one word, but there we go. Uh, right, simple kit. Looks like the body already comes as one piece. Yep, pretty much. The stand is the same as it was on the other one. Get that out of the way for now. This is because it's part of a, a board game. So this is, I don't know how it plays against other things and what you have to do with it, which is of no use to me at all. Uh, right, we've got some decals, which are just basically some numbers. If they're coming out on there, they're very faint. Um, numbers and some stars. We'll figure it out. Uh, right, according to the instructions, we've got two screws here. Let's get those open. Da -da. Get rid of that. Uh, right, we've got yeah one, top, which is basically a plane on a sprue. Great. Uh, then we've got uh, some of the propeller. No, something. Yeah, part of the propeller. Uh, the struts for the extra wings and a gun. We've got the extra wings, some more struts, the actual propeller, and the wheels. And that's it. So, as I say, the build won't take any time at all. The painting is fairly simple. Again, I'm going to go basic, going by the box art, really, which is and all sort of blue grey underneath and uh, green and brown camo uh, it doesn't actually, oh, I'll show you decal positions there we go, a number on the rear on each side, one of the tops and one's underneath by the looks of it as well one, two, three, four, they don't give you enough for all of that so we'll do what we do uh, right, I'm going to get it cut off the sprue and well, pretty much built, snap together kit. So there's just uh, two struts either side, and they're all assembled. So see you in a moment. And there it is. In theory, it is a snap together kit. This is all just snapped together, but I'm going to be gluing it because there's bits that do need to stay together. These struts are not not ideal. So although it is together, the gun's a little bit bent there. Let's straighten that up a bit. Uh, I'm going to be adding some extra thin to well, all of it, there's no need. It's paintable uh, together. So I'm going to get that glued, let it dry, and then give it a coat of grey primer, I think. Then I can get it started to be painted. So, see you in a sec. Uh, the normal extra thin um, to glue it together, you don't have to take it apart to glue it together now, just by touching to the points we'll let enough glue go into the joins there to hold that all fine so I'll get all that done and then uh, see you when it's primed before I prime it there is one thing that I noticed um, the kit's fine but it's missing a lot of the all of the the guide wires and because I apparently hate myself I decided to put them in, so I picked up some thread, which I'll be basically gluing in place to try and recre recreate these guide wires, going by the picture, just see where they seem to be going, so we'll see how that looks out. Um, I did forget to mention that Paul is apparently allergic to YouTube, so he can't, won't make any videos, but you can find him on Facebook where he's glued to the sprue. I'll put a link in the uh, comment in the description if I can remember but uh, 
go and check out his stuff and give him hell please uh, right I'll uh, get some of this cut up and stuck on and see how it looks right as far as I know this works the same way as basically putting rigging on ships which is something else I haven't done the way I've decided to do it and the way I've done these couple on here already which seem to be working quite well they're coming out very well on the camera there you go uh, is to get some thread cut to the right shape the right size length rather I've got just some normal poly cement glue and humbrol stuff I put a blob on on the box here out of the way and I'm just putting the end each end of the thread in place and then putting it where I need it to be that one's going diagonally across there the little threads of glue that you may or may not be able to see here my little spider webs can be taken away once they dry they just come away without any problem so that's one let's do the other one before this blob of glue I've got on there dries too much so that just needs to go across there the other way so that's how that is let's see if I can get that zoomed in so you can see what I've got there you go nice little cross across the front there so I think that's going to add something to this kit something I say I've not done previously a little bit more glue on there just to make sure that stays where it should be um, so it's a small kit which doesn't have much detail anyway so it's nice to add a little bit if you can uh, so I'll uh, get the rest of those put on and then see if it holds up to painting and priming okay I've done the rigging wires I don't know what you call it but uh, I haven't done all of them there should actually be three coming up the back to across the top one across the bottom but I've done enough to give the impression that they're there uh, in um, I say the correct positions on the wings just missing a couple there's a couple of little ones that should be on the top there as well which I haven't put in but I've done enough to give the detail I'm just gonna get rid of some of the glue fragments sort of spider webs of glue that are still there and then I'm gonna try painting it or priming it anyway hopefully that will just bring it back to looking pretty normal again just don't want to be painting all of these ghostly glue bits pretty much all of those that I can see uh, right so I'll get this let's just give it a blow just with air just to see if anything's moving nothing too much I'm happy with that uh, right so I'm gonna give it a primer in grey hopefully that will cover these as well and then we'll see where we're going and how we're gonna paint it see you in a moment and that's it grey uh, not great the wires have basically shown up their fluffiness so that's not ideal obviously I didn't use the proper rigging stuff I'm hoping that I can sort of smooth it down a bit and it does seem to be working so it's not not the end of the world oh. So it's not glued as well as it looked like it was either though so I can't put it too hard I need to touch up that a little bit but I'm um, yeah I'm as a first try I'm moderately happy with it I do need to touch up with my glue a little bit in a couple of bits so I'm just gonna again add just a dob of glue there and then with my clean 
got so thick, or cleanish, dry shall we say, rather than wet. Uh, this one was loose, so I'm just going to put a dot there. Get that back where it should be. And as we just found, the one at the front. That one there. Both ends of that, just to make sure. Uh, right, I decided the easiest way of holding it was um, on the stand. So I'll be painting that back black anyway afterwards, that's not a problem. Get rid of a couple of those bits. Tidy that up a little bit as well. That's better. Once they're painted in the proper colour, I'll be able to see more accurately what's what's what. But it's not bad for a first attempt at this sort of thing. I'm happy to leave it like that. So I need to leave that to dry and then I'll be getting on doing the colours. Uh, the same as I did on my first video. Um, the bottom will be like a, a sky blue grey which I can just spray from the underneath across and then the top and the sides need to be done in uh, basically a green and brown-ish colour. Uh, then obviously detailing the wheels and the engine and then the decals uh, right so I'll uh, let that dry then start on the actual painting see you soon right that's the first couple of paint bits done uh, I've done the underside in uh, what would you use? Dark ghost grey. It's sort of a bluey grey colour, which is quite nice. Uh, and then I've just done from the top with light brown. So, say, so no masking on this. Literally just from underneath spraying and from above spraying. And obviously the sides as well. Then I went back and did the underneath again just to get the uh, edges done. The guide wires themselves should be in grey. But obviously I can't spray those then. I'm going to have to go back in and paint them by hand. Which hopefully will get rid of some more of the uh, flaky bits. But uh, that's that. Once that's dry um, I'll get some blue tack on there again. And then use the green that I've already got mixed up from the first kit that I did. Uh, which should bring us to a very similar colour to the the hurricane the uh, brown is slightly different I don't know what I used for that originally but uh, I'm going to go for a more even uh, camo as well so a bit sort of more half and half but yeah uh, I'll uh, say need to wait for that to dry then I'll get back in and get that masked off and painted I'll show you a bit of the, the masking with the blue tack so that's something that isn't very common shall we say but does give a nice sort of slightly soft edge rather than just using tape and also it's very easy to get into irregular shapes i'm not going to be using any particular reference camo so i'll just put it where i feel like it so uh yeah i'll leave that to dry and then show you what i'm up to next all right with the paint dry i can now put some blue tack on it i've got some that I've been manipulating to get nice and soft so I just need to break off a bit and then basically cover over some of the paintwork now this I say I want to go for about 50 50 so I'll just be covering over random splotches leaving some exposed obviously but going for about half and half so I'm going to go for about there on the tail I need to do the top and the side which is going to be fun with this rigging stuff in the way so we'll just go for some strange shapes sorry I just realised I'm off camera again so let's get that in there and across 
and just over to there. I'll do most of this off camera, but I've just given you the idea. Basically, just getting some. It doesn't matter what shape it is as such, although you do want to get some coverage, but this leaves a, an edge that, depending on how you're painting, will be sort of fading between the two. So let's just get one more bit on there and then I'll go and finish off the tricky bits inside off camera. But so I'm going for a, a sort of more even mix than my previous plane. So I'm going for about 50-50 blue tack to paint. So I'll get the rest of that done and then get that done with the green. But I've added some more um, green too to make it a little bit darker. I noticed I was probably a little bit low on the mix that I had. So I'll get that done and painted and then you can see what it looks like afterwards. Just before I paint I thought I'd show you the blue tack in place. That's what I've decided for, probably less than 50% but there you go. Uh, right, so I'll get that sprayed up and then show you it coming off. And now it's all painted. That should be pretty much all of the major paint work done. I uh, need to do some detail work on there but let's get some of this masking off and we'll see what it looks like underneath yeah pretty much what I expected once again I should have gone a little bit heavier than that but yeah that's pretty much how I'd hoped it was going to come out tricky getting it off with the wires there but Nice thing about blue tech is you can use it to pull off bits that are stuck. Uh, right, I'll get the rest of this off and then see about uh, brush painting in the uh, lighter light brown back on the wires and we'll see how we go. See you in a moment. Okay, that's all the masking off. I've done some of the detail on some of the wires. They're not coming out as good as I hoped they would. But the first time out, I'm not too worried. There is a, a product that you can get for doing rigging, which is slightly elastic, uh, which I'll probably have to use, like Easy Line, it's called, which I'll try next time I want to come do something like this. Uh, right, for now, I'm just going to do some detail work with brushes. Um, the sides of the wheels and the uh, bottom piece here needs to be the, the grey still. So I'm just going to paint all of those. The tyres themselves, the outside bit of the wheels, although it's not marked and not uh, moulded as detail on this, will need to be like a rubber black. So I'll get that done as well. Uh, but basically, just some of this needs to be in the ghost grey. So getting some of that done uh, while well I've got it, see if there's any touching up to be done down here. Not really. I think I'll, I'll leave the sides of that there. Um, yeah, I think that will do for the underside. The edges I'll leave green because that's again what it should be like really, I think. Uh, so that's that for the grey. Uh, I need to do the gun, which I'm going to do in gun metal because, you know, why not? Let's just give that a quick shake. I'm using a wet palette here to just put some a couple of drops of paint in, which is normally enough with these small kits. Uh, so, just getting some gunmetal and just giving the gun itself a coat. Not sure if it would all be metal or if there would be a, a wooden stock to it, but there's not much to it. Um, also, going to give the engine itself a go over in gun metal. I don't want anything sort of shiny like a steel. So, gun metal is a good alternative. It's metallic enough without being sort of too in your face. Uh, we'll be doing some weathering on this, not heavy weathering, but just enough to give some depth to the the engine here as well. Uh, the propeller, not sure what colour to do the propeller. I think I might go, just 
it's a black I think I'll do that black with possibly like yellow tips I have to have a yellow tip on the propellers there I'll have another look through and see what pictures I can find but uh, yeah I'll leave this to dry and then get some black outline around the, the wheels oh, and throw it all on the floor I did actually spray the the stand in black as well uh, so yes I'll uh, so let that gun metal dry get the black on there I'll do that in a moment as well then that's almost it for the weathering so and that's the major paintwork done uh, I've done the wheels oh, here you can show you uh, outside of the wheels in black inside in the gray I've uh, done the engine in gun metal with a bit of chrome just to the highlights and the black on the propeller I'm going to leave it just black not going to bother putting a tip on it I don't think it looked quite right uh, so um, once that's dry I need to get some decals on it uh, these so basically I've got four stars for top of the wings and the back of the fuselage and I'll put a number on the tail fin I don't know one of the numbers I don't know I'll just find one whichever one looks nice and then that will be that for weathering um, once the decals are on and everything's fully dry, uh, I need to basically give it all a, a wash and heavier down, a bit of heavier grime around the engine, as if it was sort of pumping out, uh, probably a little bit on the gun as well, just to age it a little bit and make it look less new, blur the lines a little bit. Uh, so I'll leave that to dry, get the decals on, and then show you a little bit of weathering. As you can see, I've done the, the decals on there. Wait for number two, as it's the second one of these planes that I've done. So there we go. Uh, I'm going to be doing a, a slightly different wash to the other one, using a, a Tamiya smoke wash, uh, which is basically just some Tamiya smoke and quite a lot thinner. Uh, after I've put the decals on, I did give it a gloss coat to lock them in properly. Uh, now this is basically a very very thin. Um, not even a paint it's it's it is a wash so basically I just need to pretty much give it a covering of this which just tones it all down and darkens it down a little bit without making it too noticeable I wanted something very thin where I've got the rigging on there just something that will give that a nice coverage uh, I have also glued it onto the stand save it falling off of there again Now this smoke, different to a, a normal wash that you have to remove, this one will just sit on and darken it all down without actually, basically don't have to do anything with it, just put it on and leave it, you might need to do two or three or four washes of it to get the desired effect it's not really making much of a difference in one if I do half of a wing you can see hopefully it just makes a difference to the, the shading of it uh, right so I'm gonna get this everywhere being that it's a, a so thinner liquid it will naturally gather into some of the places and I'm keeping it up this way so gravity would do some of the work for me and pull things backwards as if it was flying through the air that's where they would get pulled back so as I say this isn't you know anything to think too much about when you're doing just get it on there one coat of it isn't going to make much difference so it doesn't matter if you miss a bit because you're going to be going over again and getting the rest of it but this will just help especially with the decals help them sort of soften the edges and blur it in a bit so it'll look a little bit more natural let's get some on the engine as well um, yeah so I'll leave that to dry going a little bit heavier with some uh, streaking and that in, in the engine compartment and then another coat of this I think and that'll pretty much be it so I'll uh, get that done off camera and then probably 
show you the finished item next so see you soon there we have another build completed uh, after the smoke wash I did uh, some of the sort of filth in a close bit and then washed most of that away uh, and also I did some of the, the metal slag powder around the engine and again blew away most of it then it's all had a matte coat and matte varnish so all in all I'm happy with it it's nice the rigging I say is a bit fluffy I could have been happier with that if I'd have used the you know proper stuff instead of just a thin thread but we learn from mistakes and next time I'll get it better next time I decide I hate myself enough to try and add extra bits to a kit but uh, all in all it's another fun little build uh, a little break from bigger kit bigger things and uh, yeah another fun fun kit thanks to Paul again for get, buying it for me and uh, I hope you're happy with the, the end result of it um, other than that keep tuned for more videos of other things and uh, I hope you like it I hope you had fun as much fun watching as I had building it thanks for watching bye